It's week six of the NFL, and we've got the Giants. Speedy running back. He had a nice effort a week ago with a pair of touchdowns. It's the Giants and the Saints on Sunday night primetime. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. The straight ahead, it's a matchup of unbeatens, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the New York Giants. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm one is capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Fights off the defender. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And it'll be giant football first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. His game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. So this game of our Charles, you know, the talk of the NFL world all week. Two unbeaten teams. And you, you rarely take it right down Broadway. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They'll look to throw now on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Second and 10. They'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal from the three. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll look to throw here. And it's caught. Touchdown, Giants. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And this ball game, clearly the game of the year so far. It's not very often that you find two unbeaten teams playing each other this late in the season, but that's what we have here, two heavyweights in the NFL. You're right about that, and you think about recent memories, so uh, let's take a little ginkgo right now and go down memory lane, right? 2007, 7-0 Colts, 8-0 Patriots. The Pats won 24-20. 
They end up going 16 and 0 in the regular season before they lost in the Super Bowl against the Giants. How about 2015? 6 and 0 Broncos. Six oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the third. Touchdown, New Orleans. Nelson Aguilar, his first touchdown on the year. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just about... Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. Pushing his way through. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Reggie Bush, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. They work now on second and nine. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. Here's third and seven. They're going to look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And a nice job there, skipping away from the one tackle, and ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second and five. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. Brady's throw there complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Now a give right side. It's Kramer, and there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Give him a gain of five on the completion. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. And his kick is indeed good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They'll look to throw again. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Here comes the Saints punter now. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And now out come the Giants. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow. It's the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The 305-pound defensive end, Jarrell Casey, gets the sack. And that will be incomplete. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now second and nine. Now back to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Call it a gain of a yard. Third and seven now. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. The throw over the middle taken in. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. With the left side, it's complete. He's got it. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Back to throw again. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Now he's got it. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just a... And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Giants will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. They'll come out throwing here on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward and yeah, Brady's throw there incomplete now a second and ten they'll set up a throw and seeing nowhere to throw he chucks this one away from harm incomplete now it's third down on third down he'll drop to throw Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass in this first half. And the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll throw now on the final play. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. That throw by Brady incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to look. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Saints are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. They go play action here on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield with man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. That's taken on the 25. Dances by him. Now the danger of a punt that good? A 16-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. But something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. 
Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Oh, some strong running. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The drive starts with Reggie Bush. And fights through one man. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards to go, second down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this will wind up a Saints first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. 73 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 33. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They'll drop the throw. He sets to fire deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. All told, it's a punt return of 74 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. He'll drop to throw. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. 12 yards there. Good for his Saints first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football. And he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And they will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The defense rising to the challenge and setting them back on the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And the Giants send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Taken down at the 42. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down. A big time play there for New Orleans. 45 yards. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now this likely a must-have third and goal. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Back to throw now on first down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. Brady's throw there complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. And that's caught at the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Going right side here and that's complete. Well, hang on a second here because on that last play it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They'll look to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Back to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. 
A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get it. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Here's second and seven. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. And it's a fumble. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base. And Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. Here's second and three. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. Here it's third and three. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Back to throw again. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Here's second and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll set up a throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. His third rushing touchdown on the year and fourth overall. And the Giants add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week point after right down the middle and that will bump the lead up to 26 and this taken in at the goal line and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line they'll try and start this drive in the air and it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect after the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw here. And he comes back with one complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll look to throw here on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. 38-yard line, second and 11. And now a pass hauled in downfield. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 37. Now back to throw. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now a second and two. They'll set up to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll drop to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They'll try again here from the 7 on second and goal. Looking to throw. 
to the sideline and incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal. That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish. Just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for the Giants, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they taste defeat for the first time.